Hey, my friend, welcome to lesson five. So lesson five, this one, you know, part of it depends on your beliefs and your background, the way you were raised. So, so just let me lay out my personal awareness, not so much the way that I was taught to believe, but based on the experience that I've had as a psychic medium and as someone who connects with the spirit world on a daily basis. I'm going to share with you some of the insights I've had on how important this lesson, disconnection from spirit, disconnection from spirit, and how important it can be in your life and as a source of some of your pain. And how when we connect with spirit, when we open that door, when we invite spirit in, it moves us towards healing. And isn't that our goal? That's why you're here, right? To get out of the pain and into the healing. So disconnection from spirit. There are a lot of ways that this can show up. One of the ways I see the most often is that people uh, pull away from who they really are. Right? We talked about that a little bit ago. We pull away from who we really are. Who are we really? Remember? Love. And we pull away from who we really are and we get into the energy of separateness. We get into the energy of disconnection. We get into the energies of feeling alone. And oftentimes those are perpetuated by an experience. It could be the passing away of someone, the loss of a relationship, a, a diagnosis. And we start to really, instead of identifying with who we really are, which is love, we start to identify with pain and grief and sadness and anger and aloneness and fear. And remember, I said this earlier, as we step away from who we are, we begin to um, create that separation and we forget that we're love and we start identifying with all of those emotions, all of that pain. And what pulls us back in is that connection to spirit, whatever you call that. So spirit to you might be God. Um, spirit to you might be connection to the angels. Spirit to you might be an ascended master that you feel connected to, Jesus or Mother Mary or Buddha. Um, spirit to you could be your loved ones. Spirit could be, could be the wind, water, Mother Earth. Uh, spirit could be just yourself. It doesn't matter to me how you actually identify with spirit. What matters to me is that you stay connected because disconnection from spirit, from my experience, always shows up as pain. Now that pain could be emotional. It could be um, isolation. It can be judgment. It can be criticism. It could be physical. Like I have a lot of stomach issues because you're internalizing everything because you don't because you feel alone. It could show up as, as grief because your loved one passed and you feel like you're never going to be able to be with them or see them again. So we can see where it comes from. How do we get to where we want to go? Well, we have to choose to feel differently. You know, when we feel alone, we have to step into something different. We've got to invite, we've got to invite spirit into our life. But before you even invite your angels or your guides, your loved ones into your life, you gotta be willing to recognize that you're creating disconnection through your fear, your anger, your sadness, your grief, or your loss. Now, I know that's a lot of responsibility, right? Because it feels like, well, of course I'm sad. Of course I'm angry my husband left. Of course. 
And, and, and that can be true. And you may have absolutely every right to feel that way. And how long do you want to stay in it? And how is it serving you? How is it serving you to cut yourself off from who you really are, which is love? How is that serving you? Well, maybe it's serving you because you get to be right. You get to prove to yourself that, see, I am alone. See, nobody does care. See, it doesn't really matter how I feel or what I think. And sometimes we as human beings, not the spirit beings having the human experience, but when we're being human beings, sometimes we like to argue for our limitations and we like to just fight for the right to feel bad. And you can do that. But I'm thinking, since you're sitting here with me, since you're watching this video, you want to do something different, right? And you want to be connected to that energy of spirit, that energy of, we'll just call it, love. And if you want to be connected to that energy of love, I'm just going to ask you to close your eyes and take a breath. And put your hand on your heart. And just repeat to yourself, I am love. Let's do it three times. I am love. I am love. Sometimes, my friends, we just need to remind ourselves of who we are. And when you remind yourself of who you are, that connection lights right back up. It does, I promise. I'm going to show you then how you can start connecting and feeling and seeing spirit for yourself.